Hello and welcome to today's practice. I'm Olivia Grace, this is Irma, and this is Grace and Glow Yoga, Yoga for Sleep. Tonight we're just going to focus on self-massage. This practice is great if you've had a really active day and you just need a little self-love. So we are going to start in a seated position. You can do this on the bed or on your yoga mat. And let's get started. Let's start with our eyes closed. Nice flat back here, nice straight back. Listening to your breath. Feel the cool air fill your lungs all the way up. And let's exhale. Let's et and let's et but and let's exhale through our mouth. You might notice when you breathe in, the air feels cool to your nose. And when you exhale, that air has some heat to it. Just acknowledge those feelings, the feel of your breath. Allow yourself to focus on this moment. You've done all you can do for today. Whether you got a bunch done or maybe you just focused on yourself and your rest today, you did exactly what you needed for yourself today. And now it's time to prepare for sleep. Let's gently blink our eyes open or you can keep them shut. We'll bring our hands up to our temples. Let's gently massage our temples in a circular motion. Remembering to breathe. Let's then bring our thumbs right in between our eyes. If you press up slightly, you can feel your brow bone. Just gently bring a little pressure into that area and pull up and out. Releasing some of the tension in between your eyebrows. Being very gentle here. Bring the tips of our fingers down to our jaw muscles here. And gently massage it in circular motions, actively releasing your jaw. This is where a lot of us hold our tension throughout the day. It's always a good idea to remind yourself to check your jaw throughout the day and make sure it's relaxed. Let's bring our fingers to the back of our neck. Gently massage on either side of the spine. Slightly down under the shoulders here. 
It may feel good to gently grab those muscles and pull up. No upward motions. Not forcing anything, just getting the muscles moving here a little bit. Let's bring our hands down for a moment. We'll stretch our neck, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Not forcing it, just allowing a nice stretch on the left side of the neck. You might feel good to tilt forward and backward here. Finding where you need a little bit of a stretch. And we'll do the other side, left ear to left shoulder. We'll come up to neutral. Turn your head to the right. Stretching right in here on the left side. And the other side. Coming back to neutral, we'll bring our hands back up to our shoulders. Take the opposite hand to one shoulder and continue to massage into your shoulders. You might feel good to run up the neck and down to the shoulder. Focusing on anywhere that needs your extra attention right now. And we'll switch. When you're ready, come down to your shoulder and just give it a nice little squeeze and release. A little bit lower. And one more time. And switch. Travel down to the forearm. Just gives a nice little gentle squeezes all the way down. And the other side. You get down to your hands, just use your thumb right near the heel of your palm. Give it nice little circular motions. Releasing any tension in the hand or the fingers. And just grab each finger and not pulling enough to where you're releasing any gas in between the joints. That might feel good. But for right now, we're just going to gently pull on the skin. Almost like we're lengthening our fingers. We're going to take our thumb in between our thumb and our index finger and our pointer on the other side and gently squeeze here. Releasing that muscle. Then we'll switch to the other hand. Massaging the palm. Just 
gently lengthening the skin of each finger. And then squeezing in between your thumb and your index finger. And stretch out our wrist. Bring one hand to your fingers, palm facing the front, and gently pull down. Straighten the arm. You'll feel that stretch in the forearm and the wrist. And flip your hand. Feel that stretch in the back of your wrist. And we'll switch. While we're continuing throughout the rest of the body, keep reminding yourself to release your jaw. And flip. Wonderful. Shake it out. And we'll just bring our legs in front of us. Let's straighten them to begin with. And we'll just bring the heel of our palm and gently work our way up the sides of our legs. Just up and down. Applying a little bit of pressure to remind those muscles that they can release. And then we'll do the top of our quads. Being sure to avoid the kneecap here. And just stopping above the knee. We'll bend one leg and just gently start pulling the calf muscle away from the bone. Giving it a little squeeze. And we'll switch. Straighten out our legs. Raise yourself with your hands behind you. And let's point your feet and flex. Pointing the toes straight up to the ceiling, stretching the calves, heels pressed towards the wall, and point and flex. One more time, point and flex. Then we'll switch, one flex, one pointed, and switch. Switch and switch. We'll bring our heels into our body here, bringing one foot slightly in front of the other, and we're going to give ourselves a nice little foot massage here. Let's start at the heel. Using your thumbs to wake up that tissue. Remember the sides of the heel too, as well as the bottom. And then we'll move into the arch of our foot, using those thumbs to work the tissue up towards the toes. And 
and then we'll work with the balls of our feet. Circular motions with the thumbs. Let's give each toe a little bit of a circular motion at the top. And then we'll bring our hand and place one finger in between each set of toes, allowing some space to come in between the toes here and just relaxing the top of the foot. Releasing any tension there. And then to finish off, we'll just give that foot a little squeeze all the way up and down. And then we'll switch to the other side. I'm going to turn slightly so I don't disturb Miss Irma. And we'll start in the heel using our thumbs. Remember to breathe, release your jaw. And then we'll work up into the arch of the foot, working the tissue up towards the toes. Notice if the tissue here feels a little bit um, crackly. That's what we don't want. And you probably, I'm sorry to say, need to give your foot a massage every day to get that to move a little bit more smoothly and fluidly. Let's move into the balls of our feet. Let's give a little circular motion to the top of each toe. We'll take our fingers and place them between each of our toes. Relaxing the foot, allowing that tension to release. Now we'll just squeeze up and down our foot gently to finish it off. And we'll come back into a seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Nice big deep breaths here. Notice how your body feels after you spend a little time focusing on its needs. Let's take three Let's take our shoulders up to our ears. Pulling them nice and high, and we'll release and exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Let's do that two more times. Inhale. And release. <sighs> One more time, this time really let it all out. Big inhale. And come back to a neutral breath. I hope this practice has been a nice little reminder to focus on yourself and listen to your body and what it needs.
Maybe that's a reminder to relax your jaw throughout the day. Maybe it's a reminder to breathe. Maybe it's a nice little foot massage when you get home. Whatever that may be, take this moment to set an intention to give that to yourself starting now. And when you're ready, go ahead and make your way to your bed if you're not already there. Lay down, get comfortable. And prepare yourself for a restorative and deep sleep. Sleep well.